If you're one of the millions of people who have fallen under the spell of Halloween's goofiest new mascot, David S. Pumpkins, you've come to the right place. I'm David Pumpkins, and I'm going to scare the hell out of you. The Tom Hanks persona first made its debut on Saturday Night Live in 2016, but immediately generated online insanity. Now he's well on his way to becoming an annual staple of the spooky season. So now's a great time to take a look at what you might not know about David S. Pumpkins. <laughs> viral Inspiration Have you ever seen the viral video known as Little Superstar? Well, former SNL writer and performer Bobby Moynihan has. He and his writing partners Mikey Day and Streeter Seidel were fans of the clip, which racked up over 18 million views since it first hit YouTube in 2006. <laughs> Little Superstar had previously been incorporated into SNL in 2007 when Bill Hader and Fred Armisen performed a brief parody of the video at the end of an episode, but that was nothing compared to the bad breakdancing madness to come. Ten years later, the video inspired the three SNL writers to let their imaginations run wild. We were watching that video of the little, uh, there's a, a video of an Indian guy dancing around and every once in a while he stops and the music stops. And we thought that was really fun and we were like, let's write something where we're dancing. And Moynihan revealed that the show's air date being so close to Halloween was the next piece of the writing puzzle. We said, there's no Santa Claus for Halloween. M Mikey was like, how about David Pumpkins? I said, how about David S. Pumpkins? And the rest is history. It really is. <laughs> the S he'd later reveal stands for Simon, for no reason whatsoever. Sounds about right. Silence is golden. Part of what makes David S. Pumpkins work is the fact that he doesn't really say much about who he is or why he exists. He's just kind of there. A grinning weirdo who assumes you'll learn everything you need to know about him just by watching him break dance with his skeleton pals. But the original version of the sketch had Pumpkins providing a lot more details about his wacky existence as a festive Halloween mutant. Mikey Day told Uproxx, Originally there was a lot more dialogue, and originally it was set to like a beat, so it kind of had rhythm. And we were like, do you haunt? And he's like, maybe. And then there was, if you wake up in the morning and there's a pumpkin in your hall closet, that means I hate you. Thankfully, the mysteriously stupid David S. Pumpkins we know and love is the one who eventually made it to air and into our hearts. Lowbrow. Tom Hanks has been known as an Oscar-winning dramatic actor for several decades now, making it easy to forget that he got his showbiz start in comedy. From Bosom Buddies and Bachelor Party to Big and Joe vs. the Volcano, Hanks' ability to be funny in just about any role is something we only get to see these days when he shows up on SNL. Even still, Hanks wasn't entirely convinced that he wanted to take on David S. Pumpkins. Uh, Tom Hanks in between dress and air. Uh, not a fan of the sketch. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> thought it was very bizarre. In fact, Hanks even suggested that they save the character for the host of the following week's episode. However, he went for it and became an instant sensation, even if he still doesn't quite get the appeal. I I'm not, I'm not, I don't exactly understand it. And there, I'll be David S. Pumpkins for the rest of my life now. Here lies David S. Pumpkin. Indeed, it didn't take long for Tom Hanks to reprise his role on the show. Well, sort of. In May, Hanks came back to close out SNL's 42nd season in his infamous pumpkin suit, but his name became David S. Pimpkins, which is something of an upgrade, or a downgrade depending on how you look at it. Any question? Oh, just a few. Costume Craze SNL's behind-the-scenes team might have considerable experience making custom costumes, but for David S. Pumpkins, they went the easy route. We purposely went and we were like, we just a $12.99 suit. And it's a good thing they did because fans of David S. Pumpkins went all out trying to snag a copy of the costume for themselves. Just days after the sketch aired, outlets across the web reported that the suit sold out right away, even though the price tag was a little bit higher than Moynihan remembered. Imitation is flattery. Tom Hanks wasn't alone in being confused by the chaos of David S. Pumpkins. His son Colin Hanks also had trouble wrapping his head around the bit. And then I saw that, um, and I said, oh, gee, wow, okay. But one celeb who really got into it was Microsoft founder Bill Gates, who went on to impersonate David S. Pumpkins to promote his own Reddit AMA with an inexplicable Christmas spin. Yeah, yeah, and Christmas Pumpkins is... His own thing! Between that and the memes of pumpkins popping up in famous horror movie scenes, it's pretty clear the character has done his job of becoming a holiday mainstay. Which means... Pumpkins Returns.
In September 2017, nearly a year after he first played the role, Tom Hanks tweeted a teaser image of some script pages that pointed to a Pumpkins Part 2 sketch on SNL. But NBC had even bigger plans in mind. The network announced that Hanks would be reteaming with the writing troupe that started it all for a 30-minute animated David S. Pumpkins Halloween special, featuring Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage. Judging by Hank's sneak peek of the script, he'll actually have something to say about himself this time around, and the press release for the special tells us it'll be set in a small suburban town on All Hallows' Eve, and focuses on David Pumpkins and his skeleton sidekicks who show a young boy and his sister the true meaning of Halloween, answering none of their questions along the way. Will the show manage to recapture the fun, nonsensical spirit of the sketch? We'll know for sure on October 28th. Until then, better practice your dance moves. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus, check all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.